Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yawsha, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yawsha, Bashim, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. And this lesson will be entitled So Long, Middle Class, by Source, Fox News. This article is entitled Former Keystone Workers Still Jobless Months After Project Cancellation. Nothing out there. This article was published on Wasalakia. This article was published six days ago. Two former Keystone Pipeline workers said on Monday that President Biden's decision to axe the project left many workers with nowhere to turn. In an appearance on Fox and Friends First, Lynn Allen, who was laid off from his Keystone XL Pipeline job in Texas, has not been able to find a job since the project's shutdown. He said he talks to people every day and there's nothing out there. You think about it every minute of every day. Alan said adding his family is, is on hold while he awaits a new job. And let's say if Mr. Allen makes 150000 now he has to find a job matching that salary to maintain his present lifestyle. And this is additional stress. Retired Keystone Pipeline worker Guy Williams said that many people who used to work for him are now out of a job in Texas. There's quite a few people. There's a lot of welders, pipeline people that live in my general area and a lot of young guys. And I know some that used to work for me when I was working in the trades, but they don't have anywhere to go, Williams said. President Biden is expected to unveil a new infrastructure plan on Wednesday. The new plan is expected to focus on rebuilding roads and bridges and is expected to present new clean energy job opportunities. These new high paying union jobs that Biden pledged are supposed to be opportunities for those who lost their jobs working on the pipeline, but Allen said he's not interested. None of that fits my plan. I'm a welder. That's what I've been doing. And him wanting to rebuild the middle class and cutting welding jobs and cutting oil and gas. The oil and gas is pretty much the heart of the middle class and the upper class. So in a nutshell, Mr. Allen is saying because of this industry, the oil and gas industry, People have attained status such as the middle and upper class. The oil and gas is what drives the United States and the world. And he cuts everything out from us, said Allen, a welder for more than 30 years. And guess what? This is all prophecy. All right. Key points. In this article, Mr. Lynn Allen has not been able to find a job since the project's shutdown. He said he talks to people every day and there's nothing out there. Keep this in mind. And according to Guy Williams, there's quite a few people. There's a lot of welders, pipeline people that live in my general area and a lot of young guys. And I know some that used to work for me when I was working in the trades, but they don't have anywhere to go. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Meaning what? The keepers are these individuals that watch the stock market. Okay? And the strong men. Meaning what? Your rich men slash upper class man shall bow themselves. Why? Because they will be humble and the grinders cease because they are few. Hence former Keystone workers still jobless months after project cancellation nothing out there. This is all prophecy. Okay.
and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Let's get an example. Those that look out of the window and be darkened. That means what? You are sad. You are depressed. You are nervous. All right. Because of your future. No future. An example. You think about it every minute of every day. Alice said, adding his family is on hold while he awaits a new job. All prophecy. And the door shall be shut in the streets. Why? When the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. Meaning what? Setting your alarm clocks to 3 a.m. for 30 a.m. Just to get a head start to seek employment. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And that's literal. Another key point. Because the game plan is to wipe out the middle class. And Mr. Allen stated, and him wanting to rebuild the middle class and cutting welding jobs and, and cutting oil and gas. The oil and gas is pretty much the heart of the middle class and the upper class. Revelation 13 and 6, and he caused all both small and great, no middle class, rich and poor, no middle, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. This is a strategic maneuver of the elite bankers to wipe out the middle class. This fulfills the will of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, who controls the left hand side. Okay. Let's get one more precept. Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, meaning what? But it shall accomplish that which I please. Accomplish, meaning it will achieve. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. So we know by default. That the Most High is going to destroy the economy of America. All right. The middle class will be wiped out. This is part of prophecy. Lord will your edify, Shalom.